Hey there. How's it going? So I'm doing my first uh, campfire update, let's call it. This is just a follow-up to my welcome message to the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I had an awesome day today. It actually is now. Um, there's a backlog of videos, mostly dash cams, but um, I wanted to put one on now just because uh, I just wanted to mention a couple things, uh, especially all the videos coming up. But anyways, today just the rundown. I uh, I took off this morning and um, found another uh, fish and wildlife reserve south of here, and it's actually a big one. This is just a little place here, I'm all by myself, uh, except for the hunters and things. But there's one down there that's got a federal and a, a state one next to it, and they actually had a nice little building in there. I went and talked to a lady named Valerie, and um, and then I went on a two-hour hike. I did about uh, six kilometers and. Uh, First it was just a straight path and then I kind of just went into the bush and down into a ravine and stuff. Um, and uh, I, uh, unfortunately I didn't wear my hiking boots because uh, the other day uh, on Good Friday I went into the city for once because I was here for about a week and I wanted to go on so I did a little sightseeing and then I did bar hopping and then um, I had a little bit too much cheer. Uh, luckily I got a ride home from a nice young lady. And, uh, but the next day I was hurting. And so I went for a walk country, call it a country road hike. And I walked like too far. So I, I think I went about eight kilometers and then I had to come back <laughs> take eight kilometers. But anyways, I wore, I didn't wear heavy socks on my hiking boots. So I got like marks along the back of my foot here that kind of some blisters that tore up and stuff. So. I couldn't put those boots on today, uh, so I had to wear my running shoes. So other than that, though, it was, it was really good. Uh, I've burned about 1,500 calories. I could use it. Uh, I'm giving myself about two weeks to get uh, back into pretty good shape. Um, but getting back to the videos, you'll see, a, I just wanted to mention that, um, you know, what happened so far was, you know, in Thunder Bay and Winnipeg, there wasn't a lot of videos other than dash cams. So there's a whole bunch of dash cams. And... The reason today was so good because I spent the last two days in Starbucks and going through videos and videos and it was like I had a job. I didn't like it. So I needed uh, to get out in the wilderness again today and it was really great. So uh, I went out, burned some calories, had some fun, uh, met a coyote, um, and then made it back. Then I did some yoga. Put my body back together again, made sure all the uh, vertebrae were put back into place. And uh, then I started uh, making dinner. And uh, it's about 4.30 right now on Tuesday. And this will probably get up uploaded in the morning. But I got a pizza, I'm having pizza for dinner and salad. And you say, Andre, how you cooking pizza without an oven? Well, right there, you make an oven. <laughs> Out of the fireplace. So when I first got here, uh, there was just like a couple little rocks and I wasn't sure, you know, if I wanted to build. So I put a couple more rocks. Well, I've been here like over a week now and I kind of build it up. And so I got like a, you know, I put some lots of uh, firewood in there when I got back and then kind of medium sticks and made some coals. And then uh, uh, once I burned those down, put the coals and then I have like a big high wall there, as you can see, that's kind of a heat shield to put the heat in. And uh, then I have my pizza screen on top of my, my barbecue grill. And then these, these logs, they just get put on the end. So it's kind of enclosed. And the heat gets trapped underneath this uh, foil here. And it just cooks beautifully. Um, I've already done this once. Uh, this is an more, uh, this is a new and improved oven. Uh, and it turns out really nice and crispy, tasty. Um, you know, if it's too crispy, then you just kind of wrap it in foil after, and um, and then it softens up a little bit, and but it's still crispy, so it's really good. So, anyways, getting back to the videos, uh, you'll see a ton of dash cam. So basically, Thunder Bay, Winnipeg, I was there. I was just visiting with friends and family, going out in the town every night. Um, I didn't need any sightseeing. I lived in Winnipeg for 12 years. I lived in, uh, I grew up in Thunder Bay, um, and then you know when I left there, I ran into some winter problems and dicey stuff and there's some funny stories there that I'll may put a video up later about 
um, you know, some crazy things that happened. But basically, I just had to get south. So I just drove, you know, straight down. So there was a lot of driving. I stayed in Walmart for a week once in Sioux Falls because I ordered a bunch of stuff for my, my trailer. Um, and then I was driving and driving again. So there's just a ton of videos that come up. So I'm sure a lot of people might not even watch those, but I'm just documenting. It's more for myself so I can actually see where I'm going. Um, I have about a hundred dash cam videos um, that I was going through. So I'm just kind of picking a few and throwing them up there. Um, and then um, and that's about it. So I'm putting that in there. And then I have, um, you know, so here, this video, I did a couple of these um, uh, campfire updates once since I've been here, about three of them. I haven't posted it yet because I just want to get all the other stuff done with. Uh, now that I find this other place to go, I just may stay a couple more days before I move on down south. And um, it's uh, uh, now that i got places to go. So tomorrow I'm going to, you know, get back to doing some more videos and stuff. Um, I, I did a lot of physical activity today, so um, I don't really need a full day. I'll just do like my morning hike or whatever, and then I'll head into, head into um, wherever the closest uh, places with Wi-Fi and stuff that I can do things. Uh, hold on one sec. Let me check. Yeah. Here. So I'm gonna sign off for now. Um, Anyways, uh, I don't know if anyone's really visited. I, I got a couple of emails. I haven't even really looked at them. Um, but, you know, if you happen to stop in, you know, that's great. Um, if not, maybe in the future you will or whatever. Uh, but I'm having a blast, and really this trip is just starting. I mean, I only really got to nice weather in the last week. And, um, you know, today is actually, I should say, like, it's above seasonal here for here. So I've had some bad luck with weather. Um, it was 19 today. Uh, unfortunately, the sun went away after noon. Um, but last night was great. It, it actually only went down to uh, 14 Celsius last night. I didn't even put the heat on uh, in the camper. So for that, I'm signing off. Now I'm checking my phone here. Because right here you can see this is my little... So the uh, action camera is in a tree right now. And it's, uh, it's tied on with uh, some bungee cord. <laughs> And uh, and then it, yeah, it's it connects Wi-Fi to my phone here, and I can see myself and put on that, so I can kind of action that. So I put that in the tree, and then I kind of see where it is, um, how it looks, what I want to do with that. Uh, it's a lot of more work though, using the action camera for different things. Uh, I find that uh, uh, just using the phone um, for various stuff, if you want to go um, action cameras um, are good. They're also a lot, um, you know, they're kind of fisheye, right? And so they have a little bit of distortion in them as well. Anyways, I'm signing off for now. Hope you have a great night. Uh, I'm going to have a great dinner. And then on with the next day and the journey. Bye.